Over the last few days, uh, we've heard a great deal of debate about the science of climate change. Uh, the debate, I believe, should be over. The facts are in and the science is clear. Uh, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change has concluded that the evidence of global warming is now unequivocal and apparent on every continent of our planet. It is plain in erratic weather patterns, in shrinking wildlife habitat, and the melting of the permafrost. Just last week, a new report commissioned by the U.S. Department of Agriculture and written by some of our top environmental research researchers reached the same conclusion. They wrote, there is robust scientific consensus that human-induced climate change is occurring. Observations show that climate change is impacting the nation's ecosystems in significant ways. And those altercations are very likely to accelerate in the future. The result? Ocean levels are rising, glaciers are melting, violent weather events are increasing. We've seen some recent ones in my state. And soon, entire species will be threatened. This isn't just an environmental danger, it's also an economic danger. Now, first, you can see what we would predict as we see increases in temperatures uh, in this world. And I will add here that uh, the, the estimates are the temperatures will go up from somewhere from 3 to 8 degrees uh, in the next 100 years. And to put that in perspective, they got up 1 degree in the last 100 years, and we've already started to see changes. That doesn't sound like a lot to you. They've gone up only 5 degrees since the height of the Ice Age. And the predictions are in the next century by our own EPA, 3 to 8 degrees. Uh, here we go as we look at the increases in temperature and what that might mean. A uh, one degree increase would mean increasing mortality from heat waves, floods, and drought, some of which uh, this is predicted by the 2020s. A two degree increase, millions of people face flooding risk every year. A three degree increase, uh, the uh, global production decreases, and so on and so on. I can tell you that in my state, Madam President, people are already uh, seeing these changes. They've seen the economic impacts of these changes. Uh, Lake Superior is at its lowest levels uh, in the last 80 years, and that's an average. It goes up and down a little. It went up a little, fortunately, um, this year. But overall, we've seen decreasing levels, so that overall it's at its lowest level in 80 years. That has impacted our barges that has impacted uh, the economy up there because you need more barges because they are sinking lower. Uh, why is that happening? Well, the water is melting, uh, the ice is melting quicker, and so the water evaporates and you see lower levels in places like Lake Superior. Um, we also have seen changes for our ski resorts. Uh, overall, when you look at the trends, we've seen decreasing snow. Uh, which means less money for them. And those are just some small examples of the economic costs of climate change. Uh, 